ever imagined what exactly happens when you lift a heavy object and feel immense pain in the back? Let us find out. The back that we refer to mainly consists of the muscles and the spine. A spine is made up of small bones called vertebrae which are stacked on top of one another and create the natural curves of your back. These bones connect to create a canal that protects the spinal cord and the nerve roots. One of the vertebrates that is involved in activities and is the main source of the back pain is the S2 vertebrae. S2 contains sacral spinal nerve 2 out of the 5 sacral nerves. Sacral nerves are sensory nerves and hence are the main source of pain under strain. What causes the strain in the nerves when bending? It's gravity. Let us find out how gravity affects our back. Gravity is the most consistent force on any object. The hypothetical point in which the whole mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated is known as the center of mass or center of gravity. Symmetrical, asymmetrical and hollow objects have different centers of mass. Here are some examples of the center of mass in different objects. This ball here is an example of a hollow object. Its center of mass is located at its center. Similarly, the center of mass of a broomstick which is an example of an asymmetrical object and of the cube which is an example of a symmetric object. Now the question arises that how does gravity work on the object center of mass? It's simple. It works in a straight line downwards. The line of gravity is the line of pull of gravitational force or gravitational vector. It acts downwards from the point of application. This is how the line of gravity may look like in case of a cylinder. The most interesting phenomenon that comes from the center of mass and line of gravity is that when a line of gravity falls outside the base of support, then a reaction is needed to stay balanced. When the line of gravity is within the base of support, an object or person is said to be stable. When the line of gravity falls outside the base of support, the object or person is said to be unstable. This instability mostly results in tipping the balance of body and either causing the strain on the body or the fall. For example, the cylinder's line of gravity is shown going outside the base of support, leading to the fall unless an external force in the opposite direction is applied. Now let us find out what happens when one bends to pick up an object. The center of mass in the human body is located approximately anterior to the S2 vertebrae as shown in the figure, but this location can vary according to the weight distribution of the body. When a person raises their hands, the center of gravity moves slightly upwards because the overall mass distribution is moved. Similarly, when the person bends without bending their knee, the center of gravity moves slightly outside the body. In the same case, if the person bends with additional weights in hand or basically lifts an object, the center of mass moves more outside the body as the mass distribution changes. Simultaneously, during bending, the line of gravity is working downwards and is mostly outside the base of support, which in humans is our feet. This leads to instability. So, the body puts more effort into balancing the weight and hence puts a strain on the back as the spine is stretched for balance. This results in chronic back pain and such conditions lead to slip discs, etc. So, what do we have to do when bending? Bend your knees. Yes, you heard that right. The logic behind bending our knees while bending is quite simple. When we bend our knees while bending, the center of mass of our body still comes out slightly. However, the way we position ourselves with our knees bent gives us a different result. As we can see in the figure, the person bending has bent his knees and therefore the line of gravity is still inside the base of support. This causes almost negligible strain on the back. Even if the person carries extra weight, the center of gravity and the line of gravity is still in line with the legs and this helps the back by not giving it much of a strain. 
So now we know how we can avoid pain with the help of some basic physics. So we learned about some basics of the center of gravity and biomechanics. This helps us understand why even the small things like bending our knees can save us from the future problems of back pain. I would like to thank the physics department of St. Xavier's College for guiding us. This is group number 30 requesting you all to bend properly after 30. Thank you.